Hey guys, it's Richie from Fred Junkies and we are back. Uh, I've got something exciting for you today. This is going to be another product review uh, coming from Hammock Guitars. Uh, now if you look back through the last video, you'll see um, a review I've just done of the chambered body. I'll drop the link up there. Um, but this one is going to be on the solid body. It's cousin if you like. This is the Hammett H620 Nazare. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the specs. Uh, Patch has sent me over a few bits to get get across to you guys, um, and then I'm just going to get straight into the tones like I did last time, you know, and we get straight to the good stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's 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 talk a bit about the specs. So what we've got going on is um, there's a couple of body woods you can choose from with this model, uh, different mahogany species or poplar, a tone wood favorite of Ken Parker. Uh, for the neck, you've got a tenon jointed Honduran mahogany with an ebony fretboard. Mother of pearl dots, all bound with ebony to nicely conceal those fret ends. Dimension wise, we've got a 12 inch radius and a 24.7 inch scale to give a familiar feel to any Gibson players out there. As with the H640 chamber body counterpart, there's a trio of Mojo Bird custom pickups wound by Mojo Pickups. Essentially, they're gold foils beneath a Thunderbird chassis with a unique switch and layout. Uh, basically, there's one volume for pickups one and three, and a second volume for pickup two, and a master tone control, and all combined with a free weight switch to basically sculpt everything between the three pickups. And on the big speed B5, there's a light trem spring installed, which really gives this tremolo system a different, more accessible feel. There's a variety of nitro colors available and finishes come light relic to give a subtle worn in look and feel as Pat's guitars are after all retro inspired instruments with some modern adaptions. Okay, so that's the specs, okay? Um, that's coming straight from the sheet and now I'm gonna give you my kind of take on it. Playing the two, I've had them here for about three weeks now, maybe a little bit longer and I've really give them a good stretch, you know? I've got to know them a bit. The way I would describe them is if you wanted like that hollow body kind of honk sound, then you're going to go for the hollow body, right? Of course. Uh, and the solid body really does, it's just more aggressive. Um, so if you perhaps like that more aggressive feel and tone, then I'd probably hit the solid body up. Um, and that's, you know, that really, really does cater well to that kind of, yeah more rocky kind of sound. That being said, it can be beautifully sparkling uh, clean as well. So uh, I'm gonna do less talk and we're gonna get straight into it. This is Richie from Fret Junkies. Thanks for being here. Make sure to like and subscribe and share where you can. Let's get into the tones. Thank you. 
Thank you.